Hello and welcome back to the Old Realms, and we're going to be playing as Britannia. Yeah, that's it. There you go. Quick. That was easy, wasn't it? Yeah. Anyway, we're going to be playing as Britannia, and we're going to be a female character this time, because I, I've been told that you can only play as one of the more interesting classes if you are female. So that's actually super, super cool. I cannot wait to actually see what's going on here. I have no idea how to customize her in any way, shape, or form, so I'm thinking, you know what? Um, I'm... I'm just going to randomly select some stuff right here, and I have no idea because it's been a long time since I've actually played as a female character. Maybe, what, what, what does this do? What does this do right here? What is this? I, see, that's the thing. I have no idea what these colors are actually doing. I think it's face paint probably, right? Yeah, it's face paint or makeup or whatever the case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it is actually doing that. All right, well... Yeah, goth is what we want, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, otherwise, apart from that, I think the hair is actually pretty cool. Um, seems pretty nice, apart from the fact that I have no idea what to otherwise do with all of these things. So I'm just going to make her a little bit shorter, I guess, and then we're just going to leave everything the way it is. I think that seems perfectly fine. All right, let's move on and let's have a look, see here, because this is obviously very, very important. I'm going to assume that we need faith, but that may not actually be the case. So um, yeah, I, I'm not entirely sure. Britannian sailors, no, we probably don't want that. Okay, so Bretonian nobility. Let's do that and let's see what happens. Okay, that doesn't seem to be the thing. <laughs> I'm a bit worried about this now. Yes, uh, we're not getting the thing that we need. Um, potentially, potentially. I'm not too sure. Anyway, leadership is good. Ah, there's Damsel of the Lady. That's what we want to do. There we go. Oh, no, no. You actually need Spellcraft for this. Okay, that's interesting. Didn't realize that. Okay, that's going to be very, very... Intriguing. I actually don't know. I don't know. Okay, so yeah. Otherwise, clan member, disable death for all heroes, clan member death possibility. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter because hero deaths have been disabled. Um, and, you know, birth and aging is also disabled and all that wonderful stuff. So we're just going to leave the rest the way it is. Um, personally, I think if, you per if, if you're having some problems with the 1.2 version of, um, you know, the combat AI, I'd probably recommend trying to reduce that. But I've seen a person do a number of tests um, on the combat AI, and it doesn't make that much difference, um, apparently. So whether you play on challenging or whether you play on normal, it doesn't make any difference, uh, according to that, that fellow that I saw. Um, so yeah, they're, they're going to be supernaturally good no matter what you choose by the looks of things. They are just slightly faster if you're on challenging, but that's, that's pretty much it. Anyway, we're just going to head onward here. Okay, well, what are we going to do? Well, that's the thing. I have no idea what kind of character... Oh uh, yeah, I, I always pick the rose now for some reason. I think it just looks cool. I don't know. I think it just looks cool. Should we just go for the same one? I don't know whether... I, I, ooh, it changes the color of her dress. Oh, that's actually really cool. Uh, let's make the rose dark red blue dark red blue yeah uh, yeah that's fine that's fine let's make it a little bit bigger as well there we go all right so we're going to be calling her something like uh i actually have no idea yeah you know me um uh yeah wow this is uh this is not, this is not going to go so well is it uh what about kin Kinzo, Kinzo, there we go. Yeah, wonderful. That that works out. Nicole, ah, random names, random names, and a half. Isn't that great? Yeah. So she has one point in faith, and we're gonna go for law of life here. Choose a law to specialize in. You can go for law of beasts or law of life. I have no idea which one is actually any good, but we're gonna choose law of life this time around because someone actually recommended that to me, and I thought, yeah, you know what? If you're recommending that, it must be cool, right? So. Why not? Why not? Okay, so this is where we are. We're actually starting all the way in Britannia lands this time around in comparison to starting off all the way over here. So it's basically on the opposite end of the map. So I'm actually really, really fascinated to see what actually happens here. Okay, so we're starting off with not so good gear, as you can see. I already have a point in Spellcraft and we have a point in Battle Prayers here as well. I have no idea how to use Battle Prayers. I'm going to assume that we have the ability to see that. Um, you can see here Law of Life. We're going to need Spellcraft to be able to increase this. And there's a number of 
Mm. These are going to be very interesting spells to check out. The Minor Magic school is exactly the same school as what we're used to with our previous character, so we don't really need to, you know, look at that. But these things are going to be really interesting to take a look at when we are a little bit more experienced and have a little bit more cash to spend. And Damsel of the Lady doesn't have a career ability at the moment, obviously. As I said before, this is still very much a work in progress. However, I'm really intrigued to see what the career ability is going to be. Anyway, so these are her career options, at least initially. I think what we're going to do... Oh yeah, I actually need to... Mm, that's something that I need to do as well. Mm, okay, yeah, I need to spec into medicine as much as I possibly can. Um, that's going to be extremely important for us, considering, you know... Um, we don't have the ability to consistently summon um, anyone, basically, you know, not like the vampires, because the vampires are, of course, able to summon pretty much anything they want, and whereas we do not, so we really have to keep people alive. So me having, um, me having medicine is really going to make a big difference. Well, it looks as though I'm actually already getting my hands on some Bretonian nobles. I'm not sure if this is... No, this is not a good idea, as you can quite clearly tell. No, that would really just... That would bankrupt me almost immediately. That is not good. So let's not do that right now. And, whoa, okay, yeah, there's a bunch in this area. I kind of want to, though. That's the funny thing. I kind of want to, just, just because... Yeah, that's going to be a bit of a problem, isn't it? Okay, so I have battle prayers as well. Uh, they don't say how to use battle prayers, so I'm I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work. But anyway, we can increase our hit points by 25, or we can have a 25% chance to recruit an extra unit free of charge, and wounded troops in your party heal faster. That may be something that we want to go for, but I'm thinking right now... Hmm... What do we want? Yeah, mm, yeah, I have no idea. We have no damaging spells right now apart from magic missile, so I well, magic bolt or whatever it's called. So I think I'm going to go for the I think I'll go for the HP so that we can be a little bit hardier, you know, be a little bit harder to kill and we'll go for a point in spellcraft because I think that's actually what we need to do. And I think I may as well just go in to fight these guys. I I don't know how fast we actually are either, but we may as well just go in and see what's happening. Okay, so we've got Bretonian outlaws in the area as well. Now, those guys are, of course, going to be a bit difficult for us to deal with because they are deserters and they're more likely to have decent-ish gear rather than these fellows. Oh, my. I'm starting out without a horse. Who's this guy? A Bretonian knight of the... Re How do I have a Bretonian knight of the realm with me? Is it because I'm a, a damsel of the of the whatevers? I, I actually am... <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. Okay, well, whatever the case, I will just use this. And we'll just try to murder. Nice. Okay, that was actually not too bad. Increase my athletics. I'm going to need a good amount of athletics here. Okay, this guy's not charging. Why is he not charging? Oh, now he's charging. Okay, that was a bit too late, sir. Yeah, that was a bit too... Where is he going? Where, where, Where is he actually going right now? You know, we could actually win this if this guy was actually doing anything. I'm, I'm kind of counting on him right now. But I think my peasants are actually going to win the day without him. This is very weird. I don't know why he decided to go all the way over there and then charge in. Okay, that was very strange. Mm. I'm not not that big a fan of what he just did. But okay, uh, if he's, if he's going to do that, then he's going to do that. Let's take a look at the troop trees as well. Okay, so as you can quite clearly tell, we probably want to be focusing on making these into infantry and maybe eventually into these guys i'm thinking probably get cavalry as soon as possible right i think that's probably a good idea cavalry seems to be the way to go at least early game because then you can just run down bandits as fast as you possibly want so gonna level those up into man at arms and we're gonna be getting a whole bunch of extra equipment here i have a staff this staff does extremely nothing well as you can see it does five physical damage on swing which is hilarious and this also does pretty much nothing so yeah that's yeah that's that's actually hilarious okay so we're gonna have to do something here we're just gonna have to give ourselves as much good stuff as possible there is a spear here which i could potentially use but i think i'm just gonna be 
Um, probably just using the, the staff for the moment. I mean, that's the thing. I'm more of a support character, so I can't really go at enemies and I can't really attack them too easily. That's just not something that I can really do. Um, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that whatsoever, but we are going to need to play differently as a result. You know, we can't just run in randomly to whoever and ex expect to um, beat them. So anyway, I am going to sell most of this stuff just so that we can get some of our money back. I, do I want to get the shield? I can't block with this, can I? No, I can block with this. Okay, that's good. All right. Yeah, I'm going to sell the shield then for 600. I think that seems like a pretty decent idea. So let's just get our our um, health back a little bit. Ugh. Yeah, that's going to be kind of annoying as well. I do need to put a, a focus point into medicine. Because medicine, as I said before, is going to be an extremely important thing for us. Really, really important. And, um, you know, keeping our people alive and keeping them healthy for us to be able to, you know, attack in the future is going to be really very much crucial to our success. And if we're unable to do that, then obviously we're going to have some problems. Oh, hello there. Okay, I'm going to get murdered by some of these guys if I'm not careful. So I should probably just wait here a little bit longer. There we go. They actually eliminated a whole bunch of them. They just popped out of the of the town there and just did some damage. Oh Stop dear. Okay, yeah, I'm going to try and work out something with these guys. Just going to let us go real fast because I'm not going to be able to defeat them. It's, it's not going to happen. I'm sorry. I'm not going to go in there against a, a force that is very clearly going to murder us. I'm going to try to play it a little bit smarter than the normal, you know, you know me. Usually I'll run in against random amounts of troops and just get myself murdered, but I'm going to try not to do that this time. Okay, so these guys actually, do they want to fight me now? I'm at 28%. I do need to get a horse. Oh wait, actually this, this particular village has a horse. So I think this seems like a pretty decent idea. I would like to get this. Do I, do I have enough money to spend on this? I kind of do, but I kind of also don't don't have a saddle which is going to mean that I'll have less movement speed and maneuvering not a big fan of that I gotta say okay we got some cultists here could potentially do some do some battle Another? against them I mean there's 19 of them do you think we can win this I mean if my Bretonian knight actually does something this time around then I think we might be able to and if I'm able to deal some damage with my spells before the enemy actually gets to us Okay, we're going to tell our cavalry just to charge in, because why wouldn't we? Ah. Yeah, that didn't really work out too well, did it? Okay, so he is actually charging through them now, which is much better than what he did beforehand. So I'm pretty happy with that. Nice, good damage. And we actually leveled up pretty nicely here. Can, the, can these guys actually chase after me a little bit? Can you chase after me a little bit, sirs? Oh, uh, they're not doing that. Okay, that's really bad. Oh, well, never mind. I guess I'll just attack them like so. There we go. I killed one of my own, but that's okay. I did damage to a lot more of the enemy than um, than uh, my own forces, so I'm actually pretty happy with that. Oh, I think we might have some issues here. Maybe. I, no, no, I think we're okay, actually. I think we're okay. If I can just use my spell once again. If Oh, no, 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 we're fine. We're actually okay. I'm very surprised. I thought to myself, no, we're going to lose this, but no, that was a close one. Although, hilariously enough, I think that we would be fine in the end if we just make sure that, you know, the Knight of the Realm lives, because that's basically the only reason why we're even going to be able to achieve victory in a lengthier and drawn-out battle, because they're the ones that are going to survive, or he, shall we say, is the one that is going to survive um, at the best of times. So yeah, anyway, this dagger is absolutely terrible for mounted combat, so I will try to find something a little bit better, and I think this is a little better. Yeah, the sickle is actually looking... Mm. Yes, yeah, so I will use the sickle instead of the uh, other thing, and let's see, is there anything else here that I can get? Well, I can get some boots. As you can see, we basically had nothing. We started with absolutely nothing on us, mm, which is quite interesting. And uh, personally, I actually quite like that, because it does make it a little bit more challenging initially. Because then we're not going to immediately start with an overwhelming advantage in any way. Um, quite clearly not an overwhelming advantage, of course. And we do have quite a few bandits in the area as well. So I'm quite quite happy about that. Because that means I don't have to go searching for a very long period of time. Um, but I am having problems actually recruiting units. Just purely for the fact that there are so many um, noble troops in and around the area. 
um, but thankfully we got these guys and they're, they're going to be fine. Okay, so there is a tournament going on here, but I don't think I'm actually going to be able to achieve victory in the tournament. Um, so that is not something that I am really going to do. I'm, I'm probably just going to focus on doing some tasks and, uh, you know, going from there basically. So let's just sell the armor here, sell the weapons. We've got enough food to last us for nine days. That's not really good enough. So let's actually buy a couple more. 35 days is a little better. And there we have it. Okay, yeah. There is, of course, a companion in here that we could potentially get. But she's going to be 20,000. I'm almost 100% certain on that. Don't know whether it's really going to be that way. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be quite, quite expensive. So, yeah, not something that I'm really going to go for. I'm going to be specking into medicine here as well, because obviously we've already got a pretty decent amount of learning rate in terms of spellcraft, and I would like to get some in medicine so that I can actually start leveling up quite nicely. Oh, we actually leveled up again. Look at that. Let's put another point into medicine as well. And I'm actually going to be going over to my party screen. Oh, no, never mind. We don't have any companions, so it doesn't actually make any difference. I don't need to assign myself as medic just yet. Okay, so we have some outlaws right here. I'm actually thinking that maybe we want to do battle with them. Uh, I, I kind of want more troops, to be honest, but yeah, sure. We'll go into a battle with them and see what we can do. 5.3 speed, that should be enough. I do need to get some horses as fast as possible as well, because that's going to exponentially increase the amount of speed that we have. And that's, of course, going to be really, really useful for us. Okay, so let's otherwise see this. Uh, let me see if I can do something here. Okay, that didn't do anything i think i actually hit one person yeah okay well let's just see thankfully the cooldown on this thing is not really that much so i can actually use it quite often mm. the distraction that i'm actually doing right now is very minimal which i'm not not best pleased about nice damage that was actually really really good and i'm just gonna tell my guys to charge in there there we go Okay, hopefully this is going to be good enough. Nice. Okay, there we go. I'm, get, I'm getting some good AoE. That's the whole point. I'm getting some good AoE on these guys. And hopefully we will be able to achieve victory. If, if we can't, then I can just use another spell on the, the huge amounts of units in the area. Yeah, as you can see right here. There you go. Look at that. We just got three kills. That was actually really, really useful as well because we eliminated one of their captains. Do I have enough, do I have enough Winds of Magic to actually use another spell? I don't think I do. No, I do not. So I'm going to have to switch to my sickle here. Oh, 50 damage. Oh, wow. Really? Just 50? Oh, no. Okay, yeah. Now, this is a problem, isn't it? Okay, so the Bretonian Knight is actually going to have to do st something. Oh, as you can see, he seems pretty useless. I'm not sure why that is. He seems to not really be very effective. I can only hope that he's going to um, <laughs> start killing enemies because it seems like he's just not doing that. Okay, I did more damage than he did. Okay, yeah, 44 damage right there. I have to be super careful though, because I, I can't heal myself, of course. I don't have the ability to heal myself at the moment. There is a spell that I should probably buy very quickly. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I'm actually the only one doing any damage here, which is remarkable. Um, amusingly enough, if I had saved my Winds of Magic a little bit more, I think I probably would have been fine here, and I would have maybe already achieved victory, but that's the thing. I really cannot get into range of that polearm user. If I do, we're going to have some problems, and we're probably going to die. And, uh, I mean, that's the thing. What's funny about this is that I feel like the Bretonian Knight could actually die here, because if he runs into the polearm user at full speed... He's probably just going to die, you know? He's probably just going to die, and that is not very good at all, obviously. Oh, there we go. Mm, he actually finally killed someone. Did he kill the polearm guy? No, he didn't. Of course he didn't. Uh, okay, so it seems like I have to wait and, and see what's actually going on with him, because it seems like he's actually only gotten one kill so far. If you can believe that. He literally only has gotten one kill. Oh, he's got two kills now. Okay, how did he get two kills? I have no idea. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm, I'm dealing with these guys that entire time. Okay, hopefully he can actually do something. Okay. His horse is doing more damage, I think. I think that's, that's literally what's happening right now. His horse is the one that's actually dealing any damage. 
Um, but it's kind of weird how he's doing this. I mean, that's the thing. I guess it's good for speed. But but that's the thing. That's it. That's all it's good for. It's all. It's only good for speed, and he doesn't seem to really be doing much more. So, yeah, this really makes me yearn for more cavalry so that we can actually have multiple people doing this because otherwise we're going to be in this situation over and over again but it is going to get me some really really good renown because we were actually outnumbered and our combat strength was also pretty low in comparison okay can i kill this guy at least uh, i'm trying to run him down with my horse so that he can uh, so that he loses his block but it's very difficult to do that when the pole arm person is really close by Okay. There we go. Nice. We took him down. So now the now the wonderful Bretonian knight, who's so incredibly effective, <laughs> can actually do something and help us. Should I just get off my mount and actually deal with him? Oh, no. There we go. He finally did it. He actually didn't do anything, though. That's what's so funny. I think his horse was the one that was actually killing things, which is very surprising i thought he would be amazing you know i thought he would literally be one of the most powerful you know units that we've ever seen but he seems to be um not so much not so much anyway we did get some pretty awesome stuff gonna use this spear because the spear is going to be really really useful on horseback i mean why not right and what else do we have here well, that's pretty much it. Legendary wrapped shoes. <laughs> legendary. What makes them legendary? I don't know. Anyway, we are pretty close by to a town, so hopefully I'll be able to go over there and sell. I am very slowed right now. I am really slowed, so much so that I'm going to have to pay these guys off, unfortunately. Really didn't want to have to do that. But we're... I mean, we, we can't do anything else, you know? That's the thing. There are just no it. people around here that are um, actually assisting me in any way, which is a bit of a problem. We are so over-encumbered by, um, by our cargo. That's the main problem here because we just don't have enough troops to carry it and everything. So that's the main reason. But I didn't really want to get rid of any of it because this is the main reason why we're doing this, to get money, you know, to get money and obviously to get some other stuff. So... Just going to sell these things because these are really, really useful for us. Mm. We do need to get rid of some of this food. So I have 44 days worth. So let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of that. And can I buy a Sumter horse? Yes, I can. That's going to help me out a little bit, I suppose. I'm still going to get 1,100, which is actually not bad, surprisingly enough. Also, our prisoners were the ones that were causing some problems for us too. So that's something that we've also got to take into account. But otherwise, we can just wait here for a little bit of time. I could actually have attacked those Chaos Cultists. Could I? I'm actually not entirely sure whether that would have been a good idea. But I did level up, as you can see. So what we're going to do is going to go for a point in Discipline here. And then we're going to go for... Um, not entirely sure, actually. Medicine or Spellcraft? Medicine or Spellcraft? I'm not entirely sure. I guess just Spellcraft. We do have three career points to spend as well. So I should probably go for something like... Hmm. What do we want to do? We're going to go for Inspiration of the Lady, I think. Increase magic spell damage by 15%. That's also really, really useful. Okay, Inspiration of the Lady. We'll go for Inspiration of the Lady 2. And then we'll go for Increase Spell Damage for Fey Enchantment. I think that seems like a pretty good idea. And, oh yeah, I need to spend it in Spellcraft and Discipline once again. There we go. I kind of want to spec it into Intelligence because I want to level up Engineering and Medicine both. But I can't really justify doing that at the moment because we need we need to level up spellcraft to be able to use those higher level spells. So in a bit of a quandary. Yes, in a bit of a quandary. So we're going to have to try and work that out as we go. And what do we have here? Do, did some of my people level up? No, they didn't. So yeah, look at this guy right here. He is tier 6 and he has 180 in every single skill. And obviously he can level up into uh, the Grail Knights, which are eventually going to be insane. They're going to be so incredibly powerful. But if, he, if they perform the same way that he does, then, well, <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Anyway, let's just go in here and fight these guys. I think we should be fine, but they are showing themselves to be very, very strong in comparison to us. So I'm um, a little bit concerned, actually. Um, let me tell my cavalry to charge in once again, and let me see if I can actually distract these guys to come after me. 
Yeah, there we go. That's what I wanted. That kind of deal right there. That kind of deal. That's really nice. Oh, he actually did some damage. Look at that. That was real nice. That was actually much better than anticipated. Okay, great. Okay, so these guys want to want to fight. Do you want to do you want to get distracted a little bit, fellows? Uh, you know what? I'm just going to switch to my spear now. Oh, uh, yeah, me switching to my spear, missing immediately. Isn't that great? Yeah, that's wonderful. Oh well. Okay, I'm going to have to tell these guys to charge in and I'm going to have to use my spell. Uh Okay, there we go. That was that was decent-ish, wasn't it? I think so. Hit them. Hit this guy. If I can. I mean, I'm doing decent-ish damage, but unfortunately my forces are getting... Uh, they're getting separated for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why that happens, because I am telling my guys to charge in. They should all charge in at the same time and, you know, start attacking the unit relative to their position, but... They seem to be running off away from each other, which is kind of weird. But there we go. We were actually able to achieve victory quite easily, actually. Kind of surprised. Um, oh, look at this. This guy actually leveled up. He's going to cost me 450 gold to level up, but I think that's actually worth it. Don't you think? I think that's probably going to be worth it. And we got a wonderful cape here as well from that. So that's nice. There we go. We're actually looking pretty good in regards to our, uh, <laughs> in regards to our gear right now, which is very surprising. Um, but yeah, otherwise, apart from that, we're good. We can now move on. And I need to, I need, that's the thing. I need to recruit more troops. That's what I need to do. So I'm just going to go over to the village here. Hopefully I'm not going to get attacked. I am in disorganized state at the moment. There we go. We got these guys. And I think I can, no, I can't level up anyone else. That's fine. Did I level up? No, I didn't, but I did gain some perks. So what do we want? Well, we probably want charge damage because we're probably going to get a really heavy horse eventually. And otherwise, apart from that, combat tips is just far and away best, in my opinion, because you're going to get plus one to troop tier when recruiting from the same culture and also plus two experience per day to all troops in the party and no more career points to spend, unfortunately. So, yeah, I always forget that we need to confirm that before going into the career screen. Anyway, we can actually attack these guys. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to attack those guys just yet because there were a couple of vassals that wanted to join in and we Mess really don't want those vassals to join in. They're just going to steal all of our all of our glory and that is not particularly nice for them. Or, shall we say, nice for them to join because of my lack of getting the rewards. Yeah, that's basically what I mean. Anyway, let's go for this because this means that full speed plus 10 percent charge damage dealt by troops in your formation i thought this would be really really useful for our cavalry why not and then we're also going to be attempting to level up our spell craft a little bit more there's only 13 here and funnily enough we've actually faced enemies that are much greater in number so i think we should be fine in doing this and if i can distract them all to attack me Nice. There we go. That was a massive amount of damage right there. Now, you may think, oh, yeah, look, you're doing only 40 damage. You didn't kill anyone. Well, that's the thing. Think about this. 40 damage times 6 or whatever it is. I don't know how many I actually hit there, but, you know, it seems like a pretty decent number. I'm actually... I, I almost killed myself right there. I almost killed myself. Wow. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's be a little bit more careful then, shall I? Nice. Actually, ooh, killed one of those guys. Killed one of the Dark Souls. That's pretty cool. Okay, yeah, let's tell these guys to charge in now, and I think we can be pretty happy with that. I can do a little bit of damage here with my pole arm as well. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're pretty much done here. Yeah, we are pretty much done. I almost died there, actually, really, really fast from uh, getting hit by that, that random strike. But thankfully, we are good. And look at that, none of my people actually died this time either. So, very pleased. 2.6 renown. Got some prisoners, although uh, I'm not sure if roguery is really going to be the thing that I'll be leveling up this time. Because we're mostly going to be, um, well, of course we're going to be focusing on medicine and on spellcraft and on engineering. Engineering especially is going to be extremely important for us. Aha, what's this? You come across a tree with three men hanging from it with a sword stuck in the ground beneath them. As you get closer, you can see that the word traitors is etched into the tree and that the sword has been used to mark a grave. What will your party do with the hanging bodies? Alright, so basically we can bury the hanging bodies or we can loot the hanging bodies. We're going to be burying, burying the hanging bodies this time around. Because obviously if we... I'm actually not entirely sure. I don't know whether we got this um, particular event before with our vampire series. And by the way, if you missed that, then there is a link in the description to it. Otherwise, 
We're going to bury them. You cut down the bodies and lay them to rest. Having decided what to do with the hanging bodies, you turn your attention to the grave marked by the sword. What will, you, what will you do with the grave? Okay, so you can take the sword, which is a one tier three sword, which obviously lowers our mercy, or we can offer a prayer. We are going to offer a prayer here, of course. You say a prayer for the departed, hoping they can find peace. Having made your decisions, you go on your way. Now, obviously, if you take into account the fact that that tier three sword could probably have been sold for about a thousand gold, or I'm, at least I'm going to assume that I probably could have sold it for a very significant amount, then it is a really, really bad idea. You know, it's a bad idea for you not to take the sword. However, I'm wanting to be as pious as possible, you know, to be as benevolent as possible with this particular character. We're not going to be doing anything really, uh, you know, evil, quote unquote, you know, if you can consider any of that evil, I guess. I mean, it very much depends on what you consider evil, but there's a wide, wide definition for that. Anyway, the point is, we're going to sell all of this stuff, gain another thousand. I don't, I don't, that's the thing. I don't think we're really hurting too much for cash. I think I'm actually all right in terms of cash at the moment. I don't think we need to steal from the dead to, you know, get what we need, basically, you know, because we have enough to be able to pay our troops. And that's pretty much all I can really, uh, you know, I, I, that's, that's what I can hope for. You know what I mean? Anyway, I'm at 9% HP right now, which is absolutely awful. Um, okay, so here we go. Damaging spells. No. Yeah, no, we're going to be going for selfish this time around, because here's the thing with my vampire. What I wanted was to do less damage to my own troops because you mostly have i mean technically it depends on what you want to do with your character build of course but i mostly had damaging spells and i wanted to try and kill my own forces less so that's why i decided to go for this well controlled however i'm thinking that selfish is probably going to be more useful for the damsel here because your self-targeted buff spells have 50 percent more duration and I'm thinking that there's going to be a spell out there that is going to make that so much more powerful. So I think that's really, really good. Otherwise, we're going to be increasing another point into medicine here as well. And we're just going to go into this little town here and just going to wait here for some time, try to restore my HP. All right, so we've actually gotten ourselves embroiled in our first fight against some Bretonian outlaws, which I would assume are basically like Empire deserters from the previous series. So Empire deserters, if you don't know, they're obviously deserters, and they have a pretty high chance of having some wonderful quality gear. And so that's what I'm going to attempt to do here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put my cavalry into auto-delegate because I'm actually not entirely sure what they're going to do. I don't have a shield here, so this may very well end up being absolutely terrible for me to charge over here. But the enemy does have archers, and I kind of need to do something, if you know what I mean. I kind of need to actually attack. Um, oh, actually, you know what? Maybe I should tell my infantry to charge in as well. Well, these, these archers are actually looking pretty dangerous. I did some damage, but not amazing. Okay, yeah, I need to be very careful about... Wow, okay, yeah, there's a lot of projectiles coming my way. I'm very much hoping that my cavalry is actually going to start doing something. I mean, they did actually initially do something pretty good. But now, now they're not really doing anything. Okay. Hmm. This is not so great. Okay, they killed another one. That's good. Okay, that was terrible. Mm -hmm. Yes, seems like I will need to get the spear out. Okay, we actually did some damage with my horse, surprisingly enough. I guess that 20% additional charge damage is coming in mighty handy now for some reason. There we go. Okay, so we're going to do some damage here. Obviously, this spear is really, really slow because it is just slightly longer than what I usually use. We don't have a huge amount of polearm skill or anything, but these guys are falling before us really easily, surprisingly enough. Okay. Wow, okay. I definitely wasn't expecting that. Um, yeah, the first thing I'm going to do, by the way, when I have a, a lot of cash, or shall we say a good, decent amount of cash, so like 10k or 15k or something like that, I'm going to be going over to one of the Magisters real fast, and I'm just going to try and buy a spell that provides me with the ability to heal myself. Because obviously, if I can heal myself, then I'm going to be able to stay in the battle longer, and I'm going to be able to, you know, help out in whatever way that I can. 
Um, I'm thinking I might actually use one of these light maces instead of the sickle, because if I'm using the spear only on horseback, then a light mace might actually come in handy for those close quarters combat situations, because no doubt at some point in the future, there's most likely going to be a point in the future where we are going to go into a siege, and we're going to need to defend ourselves against a variety of opponents, and we're going to need a faster attacking weapon than the sickle might be. So that's why I'm deciding to use the light mace. But otherwise, we can actually just go on over to the town and we can sell this stuff for a pretty good amount. Um, it's actually kind of surprising. I don't know why there isn't a magister here. Um, I was kind of hoping that there would be. But anyway, we'll just sell that. There you go, 2,400. Really, really nice, actually. And we're just going to buy a couple of extra horses because that is indeed going to make a difference to our overall speed. And we're just going to move on now. We've got some more Bretonian Outlaws over there. Kind of don't want them to attack me right now. I didn't actually level anything else up, which is very surprising too. I was kind of hoping that we'd level up again, but I'm just not doing enough damage. That's the thing. I think I might need to spec into pole arms a little bit potentially as well. Um, how's my Renown doing as well, by the way? Yeah, my Renown is not doing particularly well because I'm not really doing any tasks or things like that. I'm basically just fighting things, which is which is fine, you know. Fighting things is okay. Um, oh yeah, don't want to go into a battle Ooh, against those 45. Not just yet, at least. Technically, I could go into an auto-resolve here. I wonder how an auto-resolve would actually be with my medicine skill. Hmm. Cavalry gains a large bonus. Okay, let's try it. Oh wow, that actually worked so much better than anticipated. Okay. Very nice. Okay, that is really, really good. And we're leveling up our forces just that much faster too. We're getting our good gear as well. Getting some additional... Ooh, yeah, better gloves. Okay. <laughs> it's it's so interesting how at the very beginning of the game, you're literally just like, oh yes, uh, I got some good gloves. They give me three more protection. And then later on in the game, you're like, oh, these gloves, uh, they gave me only 50 and, they, they, you know, it's just it's so funny. All right, well, yeah, we've got some more here. Uh, actually, wait a minute. Hello. We could potentially do battle here. I think we should be fine if we can. Yeah, this is a planes battle, right? Yeah, this gives a large bonus to us right now. I mean, technically, I could do this. These guys are a little bit problematic for me, though. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to try it. Here we go. Yeah, that, that actually did work. So that's pretty nice. And we're just going to get some more cavalry here. Yeah, this is actually working out so much better than I thought it would with these with these auto resolves. Because obviously the auto resolve is a bit of a gamble sometimes, but you can kind of tell normally when you're going to be doing all right. And we seem to be not doing too badly. So if I can just do this, I'm going to get another. I'm going to get a noble this time. We're going to get a noble, a noble troop here. Although that may very well backfire because I've done that in the past where I've recruited a bunch of noble troops at the very beginning. And, well, you you know what's going to happen, right? Yeah, you're going to go bankrupt, and then you're not going to be able to pay them, and it's just going to be an absolutely awful catastrophe. So that's obviously a bit of a problem there, isn't it? Anyway, let's go over to 13 of these guys. Maybe we can fight them by themselves. Kind of wanted to go into another auto-resolve against these guys, but they're proving to be a bit difficult. Yeah... Uh, I guess I will just go into a fight against all of them and then we'll just go in ourselves. Let me actually just take a quick look here. No, I didn't level up just yet. Almost. I actually almost leveled up just from those couple of auto resolves. Okay, so we've got 12 cavalry now. 12 cavalry. I'm going to tell everyone to literally just do auto delegate because, well, as we've shown, it doesn't really matter what I decide to do with my with my own forces they don't seem to really care too much either way i'm gonna just throw a spell over here it, it actually hit a whole bunch of them as well that's really really good look at this yeah that was nice good damage from our cavalry too nice there we go we got a bunch of kills i actually killed one of the higher tier enemy units as well yeah this is working nicely Nice. Okay, there we go. And I don't want to take out my mace, actually, but it, it, I was in a decent enough position, so I thought, yeah, you know what? I'll take it out, but then we were, you know, interrupted anyway. There we go. Kill that guy. Make sure he doesn't fire off any additional arrows, and it seems like we are fine. 
I think the main the main thing we've got to consider here, I think the reason why we're we're being so effective is because we're up against archers. And we are not allowing them to pretty much do anything because we're literally just charging at them straight away. And obviously, as we know, if you play archers only, you're going to have some pretty big issues with enemy cavalry just charging at you straight away. And that's exactly what's happening here. So I'm actually pretty happy that we have some, um, you know, some additional cavalry uh, to start off with because we actually started off, obviously, with the... Um, you know, the Bretonian knight that didn't do anything initially. And, uh, well, I'm not sure if he's still doing stuff or if he's not because he's leveled up now. So it's a completely different situation. But he um, he was actually one of the only reasons why we won one of those early battles. And otherwise, I would have gotten myself taken prisoner and that would have been terrible. So, you know, it's the small things, you know, it's the small things. Sometimes winning one battle can change the entire course of your progression in the game and i'm just very thankful that we were able to achieve victory there i've got to be careful here because these guys are no doubt going to try and pounce on me but thankfully i have a decent amount of speed shouldn't have to worry too much about that i did level up as well by the way so we can indeed level up our spellcraft or our medicine Kind of want to level up medicine more. I'm kind of surprised that medicine's taking so long. But I think I probably need to... I'm not entirely sure what I need to do to be able to level that up faster, to be honest. I'm, I'm probably going to look that up because it seems like I'm not really getting much. Um, I mean, if, if you take a look at the skill here, what does it say? What does it actually say for me? Help wounded soldiers heal in settlements. That's it? Really? Okay, well, it seems like my forces need to take more damage then. Well, that's going to be a bit of a problem, isn't it? Because if we're trying to win super easily, I guess the only way that I can do that is maybe through auto-resolves. I, I guess auto-resolves are going to be the, the main way that we can do that. Anyway, I don't think that I need to swap out anything here because I think I checked most of it. I think it is not good enough for me right now, so we're just going to sell all of that. I'm probably not going to be using a ranged weapon, all things considered, so I'm going to be selling all of that as well. And all of these things I don't think are particularly useful for me right now. Um, I could use this. The simple short spear is kind of calling to me right now. Yeah, I'm going to use that instead of the other one. And we're just going to sell the rest. And there you go. So now we've got 4,100. Very, very nice. And that actually brings me to the next point. As I said before, I'm actually not entirely sure where a person is that I can learn things from. I'm going to assume that I may indeed need to go into Empire territory to find some magisters um, that can potentially teach me magic, but we'll see what happens in the next episode. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.